testing. Testing. Testing.
Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Abundant Life Seventh-day Adventist Worship Service. Today we have a special program to honor the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We want to especially welcome our visitors and those who are coming from online. Jesus loves the little children, and we love him. The next voice you'll hear is our first Elder Virgil Richardson. Then the program, then the program will follow as outlined in your program. Thank you for joining us today. Please come again next week. Amen. 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 How about that? Before Elder uh, Richardson comes, shall we stand for the doxology? for the blessings. Let us all pray. Father and God, we're so thankful to be at Abundant Life this morning uh, for the message that's going to be delivered to each and every one of us. Help <laughs> us, Lord, and each and every one of us to take something home uh, that we can apply to our lives. We're so thankful, Father, for all the participants on the program and the wonderful things that they have been working uh, for our, your enlightenment as well as ours. So bless each and every one of us as we wait upon thy soon coming. In Jesus' loving and saving name, amen. You may be seated. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy Thy name, thy king. 
Hallelujah. That is how he taught us to pray. He taught us so many things. I, I really miss him. Whenever he would come down from Galilee, to Judea, he hung out with my sisters, Mary and Martha and me. Our home was always filled with people when Jesus came to town. The week before his execution, he was at our house with us, and on that Sunday, we left and headed up to Jerusalem, where the crowds were over the top, and I just knew, I just knew that he would be proclaimed king, the Messiah. Chapter 19, verses 37 through 40. Then, as he was now drawing near the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works they had seen. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. And some of the Pharisees called to him from the crowd, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. But he answered and said to them, I tell you that if these should keep silent, the stones would immediately cry out.
angels bow down at the thought of you. The darkness gives way to the light for you. The price that you paid gives us life brand new. Hosanna forever, we worship you. Hosanna forever, we worship you. The angels bow down at the thought of you. The darkness gives way to the light for you. The price that you paid gives us life brand new. Hosanna forever, we worship you. Hosanna forever, we worship you. For you are the joy that my soul longs for. The lamb that was slain for my sins and the one I adore, King of kings. Hosanna forever, we worship you. For you are the joy that my soul longs for. The lamb that was slain for my sins and the one I adore. King of kings, ruler of everything. Hosanna forever, we worship you. Hosanna forever, we worship you. For your patience and kindness and and mercy and honor and glory because you are worthy we can't live without you we can't breathe without you we can't sing without you hosanna hosanna no greater love in this world but you no one can compare to the things you do wherever you go i will follow you hosanna talking about the procession into Jerusalem that Sunday evening, right? But I should have started really with the dinner that we had at the house with, with my sisters, Mary and Martha. He, Jesus, hinted that something terrible would happen. And when Mary put that oil on him and was criticized for it, Jesus said, leave her alone because she is anointing me. 
All the Gospels will tell that story. We loved him more than life itself. I mean, how could I not worship him considering what he did for me and for Mary? No more demons. Praise the Lord. and blood his substance he took the form of man revealed the master plan oh glorious me Sacrifice on Calvary. And now I know thou art the great I am. Oh, I, I love. Oh uh -huh. 
He was so, so good to us. He raised me from the dead. Not a coma. I was stinking dead. And Mary's demons, gone. I, I just don't understand how things could go so wrong, so fast. The people knew that I had been raised from the dead, and they wanted to see a real miracle. The one minute they were hailing Jesus as king, and the next minute, crucified, oh, Lord have mercy. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Ah, oh, I need a moment. John said, just before they arrested him, that he was in the garden praying. And he Father, said, Father, the hour has come. Yes. Glorify your son so he can give glory back to you. For you have given him authority over everyone. Yes. He gives eternal life to each one you have given him. And this is the way to have eternal life, to know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, the one you sent to earth. Hallelujah. I brought glory to you here on earth by completing the work you gave me to do. Now, Father, bring me back into the glory we shared before the world began. Praise the Lord. John then said that his last words were, I first. And then he said, It is finished. Oh my. Oh, oh. I should have been there with them at the cross. They killed God. Oh, 
sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Were you there when the sun refused to shine? Were you there when the sun refused to shine? Sometimes when I think about it, it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when the sun refused to shine? Were you there when they pierced him in the side? Were you there when they pierced him in the side? Good morning, church family. What a blessed Holy Sabbath day that we'll be here today celebrating the birth, the death, and the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. What a friend we have in Jesus. Amen. I'll be reading from John chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might have, 
might be saved. May the deacon and the deaconesses come forward, please. Let us pray. Lord God Almighty, we just thank you, Lord, for your love, for your mercy, for your grace, and your forbearance with us. Thank you, Holy Father, for sending our only begotten Son to die for our sins, to re reconnect us back unto thee. Lord, we thank you for all that you have done for us in our life, Lord. We thank you for the blessing, for the opportunities to get a job and take care of our families and our loved one. And Holy Father, we are just so grateful to be willing to give unto thee as you have given unto us. May you continue to bless and keep us as we go forward this blessed Holy Sabbath day. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. my children. Come. Come. Well, all right. The story doesn't end there. All right. My sister Mary and, 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 and Mary Magdalene, they went to that grave on Sunday morning, and when they got there, no Jesus. <laughs> I mean, they got there, and, and there was no stone there. There were no soldiers. So they peeked in the tomb, and they saw the shroud in there folded up all neatly. Ha! He's risen. He's gone. He got up. Hallelujah. He got up. Just like he told me to do when I was dead. <laughs> he
He got up. I will die again. That's all right. Because Jesus is coming back again. All right? And he's going to tell me to get up again. And I'm going to be obedient. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm going to get up. And then he said to meet him in the air. And then I, along with all those who love him, will never die again. Never die no more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are redeemed. We are redeemed from the grave and from sin because of his death and his resurrection. Somebody ought to say amen. amen.
I said, don't cry now. God, he's not dead. Amen. Amen. In this part of the program, we have set aside time for a special ceremony to honor and remember our brothers and sisters who have passed away either during the COVID pandemic and for other reasons during the last two years. Amen. Um, at this time, uh, we just want to observe a, a moment of silence uh, in memory of those who uh, are no longer with us. So let's just um, have a moment of silence. Amen. Um, um, Elder McDavis and myself, we're, we're going to read the names um, of the list that we have, and we apologize if uh, you're not on the if you have someone that's not on the list. We apologize for that, um, uh, but we want to remember them also. And um, so, um, when the names are read, are read. Would, if, if the family members or our loved one is here, uh, just stand for us, please. Leonard Skip Barnes. Elizabeth Boyd. Charlie Brown. Kenneth Coleman. Joyce Chester. Kimberly Foster. Bill Hudgens, Judith A. Knopp, Willie Johnson, Marce Marcella Mackinson, Olive Simmons Martin, Cheryl Lynn Sanders, Velvet Ritchie, Kathleen Nicholson, Juan Martinez, Diane Rogers, Kendra Lynn Flamini, Olive Louise Estrada, Judy A. Knott, Lillian Lowry, Milton Ammons, Gloria Porter, Eddie Robinson, Sam Robinson, Rosie Nash, Georgia Mayo, Arnold Ellis, Yvonne Ellis, Orville Ellis, Bishop William Thompson. James Harmon. Carr Bobby Thomas Bass. Clara Bobby Thomas Brass. Bass. Terry Rob Arabe. Ether May Johnson. Margaret Smith. Helen Johnson. Lola Alexander. Nola Satcher. Leon Ira Richardson Jr. 
Dawn Denise Driver. June Richardson. John Driver. David R. White. Oswald J. White. Esther Esperanza White. Robert Settle. Felix Settle. Nancy Banks Adams. Naomi Davila Bosell. Joshua Ellis. The remaining roses are for those victims of war, man-made, and natural disasters, homicide, and for those who we do not know who have perished. At the end of the service, you may take a rose for each name that was called. Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again. And so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. Father in heaven, <clears throat> We come today not only to praise your name, but to thank you for all the wonderful things you've done for us. You've given us family, and the devil has done everything he can to hurt us. And we know, Lord, that you will make it all right. Father, we pray for the names that were read, the families of the names that were read, that they will know that you still love them. That they will be able to make a decision to stand with you no matter what happens. Father, time is getting short. The devil is doing everything he can to, to stop us. This special day, Easter, the world call it, but it was the day that you died and rose again to save us for all eternity. Father, we pray that we be a blessing, that we can be a blessing to those that we come in contact with, that we can let them know that you still, you still love them. And teach us, Lord, how to love each other so that people will want to be loved because you are love. Father, we again thank you for dying on the cross for us 2,000 years ago so that we had this opportunity. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
for you have done such a marvelous thing for someone so rich yet my soul you have redeemed no one So you gave your only son. You gave that I might live. You gave that I might.
do it. As always, the first time. It felt good, didn't it? I 
Oh, my God. 
think I'm supposed to do some acknowledgments at this point. Uh, isn't that right? Is that on the program? I'm supposed to do something. Okay, let me do something. I got to catch my breath first. <laughs> okay. Thank y'all. <laughs> um, I, I, let me get my program so I can do this right. On the back of the... It's the right program? On the back of the program, you will see any number of acknowledgments, and I'm not going to read them all because that's redundant. But there are some people I do want to say special thank you to. And typically, we start with... Well, I'm not going to start with Mr. Lazarus. He's going to come out for his own bow. But the people that you never see Amen. who help put this together. You know, you know, I picked up the phone and all, without, I think with 100%, yay, if they could be here, they said they would help. So I want to start with them. Is that all right? Amen. Where are my stage managers? Come on out here. I know y'all shy, just come on out, come on out, come on out. These are the stage managers. They kept the, this is Brother Lawrence Walls, Rawls, and Sister Sharon White Banks from the Mountain View Church. Um, they kept the trains running on time. All that back and forth, up and down, round and round. I said, I, Lord, I can't do all that. So I um, wanted to thank them. I also wanted to thank the media people. You always see them behind. Where are the aquas? They're up. Aquas, come on out. Come on out. Come on. No, we can't see you, baby. Come on out so we can see you. And while they're coming out, of course, Troy um, Harrison there on the uh, camera. And the young man who's here today. Thank you. We, we really appreciate it. Here are the aquas. We thank you so much. Now, in order to be able to hear, which is kind of important. Yeah, now don't y'all stay too long because y'all got to run the last thing. Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> I want y'all to know it ain't 1.30 yet, okay? All right. So it will be, but it ain't just, just yet. Excuse my English, but, you know, that's all right. All right. All right. Uh, Mr. Dan Teak, is it, or Tech, Dan? Tyke, you didn't get it right. Dan Tyke in the booth, as well as Mr. Larry Williams, our sound engineers for today. The people who put the program together in terms of what you're seeing, you see them on the list. I want to say thank you to them for the special ceremony. I want to thank Sister Nancy Collins and uh, Minister uh, Barbara McDavid for coordinating that with me. Thank you so, so much. Um, Now, let me get to my wingman, my wingman. He don't know he's my wingman, but he is. And, and under these circumstances, it is allowed. The Reverend Dr. Fingers Ellis. And the Abundant Life Band. Y'all stand up. What's wrong with you? In that band, I want to make special thank you to Mr. Billy Philly Adams. Uh, <laughs> Y'all don't know this, and I, don't, I hope he don't hurt me for saying this, but this man took off his job to do this. Amen. Took off his job. Thank you, Billy. Really appreciate that. All right, let's see. Oh, I can't forget my singers. Would my singers would, would all see my blood sugar getting lower? But anyway, um, would would all of the concert choir members please stand to be recognized? And in that choir, you all heard today, Mr. Nigel. Herman, uh, who's our guest vocalist. All right, let's see who I got. Y'all can sit down. Um, I hope I got everybody. Last but not least, Marvin. Marvin? Who's, who's Marvin? I call you. I called you Marvin again. Wait, oh Lord. I, at least I didn't call you Carl. <laughs> oh, which reminds me, our. Processional marshals. 
I got two more to do. Would you stand to be recognized? Processional marshals. And next to almost last are two uh, welcomers, Emily and Eli. Y'all stand up and take a bow. They're not finished. They're coming back in just a second. Now, the rest of you, please don't get offended because I can't read all this, uh, but you, you'll see it. Oh, I knew it was something else. Anybody that I asked to do something to just stand in the breach just in case. We had people, I said, would you do this in case of whatever? And in fact, uh, Marvin was, was, uh, he was, he stood in the breach. My actors, I had three actors cast and they all had issues the same day and had, at the last minute, but I'll get to Marvin in a minute, uh, to Michael. Michael, I'll get to Michael. I don't know who Marvin is, but, but if I asked you to do something and you agreed, but you didn't have to, my understudies, my stand-ins, would you please stand and be recognized? Let the folks see who are willing. Come on, John. These are folks that were ready to stand in the breach. You don't find that every day. It uh, just shows you the level of love that these people have for this, this church. Now, give me a drum roll, Billy Philly. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from cross town, I think the church is called Living Waters, Living Something. Mr. Elder Michael Brown, come forward. Yes, yes. I actually am from New Life. <laughs> the other day she called me Marvin. <laughs> Just don't call me late for dinner, right? <laughs> it's all, I'm honored. New Life. New Life. Praise the Lord. I'm thankful and I'm honored and I had a great time. And thank you all for coming. Lazarus, come forth. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. And for those of you who have been online and stayed with us throughout, thank you so much out there in TV land, radio land, or whatever land you're in. Thank you for joining us today. We, do, we ain't going to do this next week, but we do have a good time here every week, and we hope you'll come back and spread the word that this is a place where we ain't scared to praise God at all, at all. At this time, I believe, let me look on this program, make sure this is right. We will have our closing remarks by Miss Emily and Miss Aaliyah. Please come forward. Let's get them some mics. Testing, testing. Thank you for coming and please come again next week. Elder Richardson. Amen, amen. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I had to pay $200 to see this. Uh, you know, I'm not going to ask you to, don't, don't be reaching in your pockets. I'm not going to ask. Amen. I'm not, I'm not going to ask you to give money. It's not about giving money. Uh, you know, this, this, I mean, every, every word, every song that was sung uh, was beautiful, wasn't it? I mean, I mean even Lazarus, you know, the, the things that he said, this, is, this was a very good sermon, in essence, what I'm trying to say. Beautiful sermon. And I think we ought to stand up and give all the participants another hearty amen. Amen. Beautiful job. Beautiful job. Now, thank you. Maybe. And Dr. Ammons did, I mean, the facilitator. I mean, God really blessed us, Dr. Ammons. Amen, amen. Thank you all. I, I enjoyed it. I have some church business uh, that I, nobody knows about this, but maybe one person other than me. 
and I didn't talk to Dr. Ammons, uh, but I, I, I did talk to uh, Shannon Nunez, the secretary, uh, executive secretary of the Nevada Utah Conference. And I don't know, how many of you have been waiting in anticipation who our new pastor is going to be? Amen? How many of you already know? Just show a raise of hands. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, um, the committee had interviewed the, uh, uh, the doctor, here, let's see, Dr. Uh, uh, Michael Jenkins was interviewed. Um, he made the announcement at his church that he's coming here. And um, I, I, let me tell you, this is with much prayer. And let me tell you, the committee, they, they asked some very good questions and did a lot of good research. 22 years of experience. And, and you notice I said, Dr. Michael Jenkins. A lot of our weaknesses is where he is strong at. But one thing that I noticed in interviewing him, he needs to work in church. And I'm not talking to everybody. What I'm saying is, is that it should be everybody. Thank you, uh, Sister Yancey. It should be everybody helping. And, 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 and programs like this, oh, beautiful program. And, I'm, and, and uh, you know, uh, I guess he's going to be effective May the 1st. Uh, the committee is going to meet April the 20 to finish ratifying it. Um, the uh, installation is going to be May the 13th. Um, and I guess the board will be talking about what we want to uh, plan to do for that special day. But uh, we have a new pastor. And amen. <laughs> amen. Dr. Michael Jenkins. And and your first elder can go back to do something that he's a little less comfortable doing. <laughs> before, we, before we have the closing prayer by Pastor uh, Pierre, there's a little song I was supposed to teach you all on the way out, just, just a chorus. And it goes like this. You may, if you know it, sing it with us. This is what we'll do the part on. And it goes like this. Always remember Jesus, Jesus, time through as Pastor Priya comes forth. Always Everybody. Please stand up with me for the closing prayer. Stand up, please. Oh, no. oh, oh, oh. Blessed be the name of the Lamb who was slain. Blessed be the Lion of Judah who sits on the throne. Blessed be the name above all names. Jesus Christ, 
our Savior and our Redeemer. Thank you, O oh God, for accepting our service today. We've been blessed and felt your presence through the songs, the music, the scripture reading, and everything. Thank you for the service, O oh Lord. And now, as we stand before you about to depart from one each other, I'm asking you, O oh Lord, for your people to receive the joy, the peace, the grace, the salvation that your death brings to us. And may all we be saved and see you when you come back. Bless us today as you have not done, never done before. And stay with us for the rest of the, this day, for the rest of our lives on this earth. Until Lord, we see you face to face. Bless us, O oh Lord. Bless the little ones. Bless the whole church. Bless Sister Linda, Dr. Linda, especially. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 You may be seated. I'm waiting until the procession goes out. And those who have family members who didn't get roses, please take one. Our, our marshals will now escort the procession out. One more thing. Uh, don't forget, we have bread next door. Bread ministry. Good time to take someone some bread.